she is, buddy. As long as I don't bend the. What's going on, guys? John here from Sick Fishing. Today here in Rhode Island, a couple of days into January, we're gonna be doing some open water fishing. Probably gotta stay local and hit this canal today, and maybe later I'll be hitting the, a river spot with a buddy. Both spots, this spot and the other spot, we've been producing bass the last few weeks. I caught some three pounders on January 1st. One and three pounder came out of here and one three pounder came out of the river. I'll take that any day in the winter. I just found out with their stats. I just caught two bass in one spot and lost another one. Lost one right before this. I don't think it's a pickerel though. Oh, it's a bass. It's a decent bass. It's fighting pretty good. Probably like a one pounder, two pounder. Nope, it's a pickerel. Thought it was a bass. Pickerel. I'll take it though for the winter. Oh, pickerel slime. Yeah, so wasn't recording for this two and three quarters pound pickerel, almost three pound pickerel. Shark. Yeah, it's like a freaking pike, dude. I've never caught a pike before, so that's my pike right there. <laughs> well, first fish of the spot. What do you got here, crappie? Uh, yep. No big old perch, holy sh! Nice, dude. I have. I don't even know if I've ever caught one this big through the ice, man. Dude, that thing is huge. Thing's a freaking donkey. That thing's got to be pushing like a pound, man. He's long too. Too bad you can't. Too bad you can't. Too bad you can't eat fish out of here. Yeah, I mean, you'd probably be okay. You'd probably be okay oh, with, like, yeah, dude, like, coming to the top and just... Oh, a little better. That was my money spot a few weeks ago when we were catching them. Huh? I said that was my money spot a few weeks ago when we were catching them, but I haven't really got anything out there lately. Oh, I just got tapped. Yeah, a little tap. Perch, crappie, one of the two. Whatever it is, it's shaking like crazy. It's gotta be a crappie. Perch, another good sized perch. Another monster perch. Of course I wasn't recording again, dude. Dude, he was right there underneath us. Like, I mean, he was like right there. I felt the tap. And then I cast it back out there and I was just bouncing it really lightly and he freaking nailed it. Choked it too. He was running like a pickerel.
I wonder if there's any more down there. I wonder if there's any more down there. I knew I had a, I knew I had a little tap. Fuck, where is he and how big is he? That bass. Yeah, they want it slow today, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Beautiful bass, though. The colors on this one. Skinny but healthy. Every freaking fish I catch in the winter is freaking skinny. What happened to the ones that are supposed to be fat, man? Now this. Ah. <laughs> I got stuck in my glove. Oh, there she is, buddy. As long as I don't bend the fucking hook out. Because the hook already bent like three times. That's a... Oh, no. Don't go there. I thought she was out front. Okay, she's coming in that way, I guess. It's a three. Don't go back in the water. I don't normally drag my bass in. But... I didn't want to lose her. <laughs> that the same fish I caught the other day? <laughs> Might be. Because that's like hard to tell. She's like... It's like close to three. Decent. Chunka. Yeah. Man, do these river bass have some spunk in the wintertime, though. 